Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I posted earlier today, Microsoft has just rolled out the Moment 4 feature update to Windows 11 22H2, which has brought the fourth wave of new features to the OS, and I'll leave that video down below. But just to let you know that already, yesterday on the 26th, Microsoft is starting to finalize the annual feature update, also known as the Windows 11 2023 update version 23H2, with uh, business participants in the release preview channel. So I'm um, still not available to consumers yet unless you seek for the update in the release preview channel. But because it is now starting its final stages of testing, and this is a good indication that the update will start rolling out shortly to the stable version. Now, as mentioned, um, it's currently in testing in the release preview channel with uh, commercial customers. And your release preview channel, as many of you will know, is your final stage in the Insider program before it's released to the general public. And Microsoft does say um, from the announcement that this update is delivered as an enablement package and will be released in the fourth quarter of 2023. So because it's starting its final stages of testing, I would suggest that we will start getting the 23H2 feature update near the end of October, as I've mentioned previously, moving into November towards the end of the year. And uh, just to focus on a couple of the features that we can expect to see roll out with 23H2, as mentioned earlier today, Moment 4 brought approximately 150 new features. So I would say that the majority of the new features have rolled out already with Moment 4. But go check that video out I did post earlier. It will give you a little bit more info. And according to what has been tested in the release preview channel, it doesn't seem like there's too much left to be rolled out. So this will give us a good indication. Now, first of all, it includes the Copilot, which has already started rolling out uh, with the Moment 4 update. So obviously Microsoft could be bringing more enhancements and improvements to the Windows Copilot, which is bringing um, centralized AR to the Windows 11 desktop. And at this stage is a web container very similar to Bing Chat over um, in the Edge browser as an example online. So it basically places that web container on your desktop and you can um, ask the um, chatbot using Copilot to basically uh, change from light to dark mode, take a screenshot and change different settings. But there's still a bit of work to do. So we could see some improvements starting to roll out and more improvements roll out in regards to Copilot in the 23H2 feature update. Now there's quite a lot going on with Microsoft uh, Teams, which um, now uh, chat is now Microsoft Teams free. And uh, Microsoft says that Microsoft Teams free is pinned by default to the taskbar and then can be unpinned like other apps on the taskbar. So chat has been changed to Microsoft Teams free, and you'll be able to pin that and unpin that as mentioned. And some of the changes that are rolling out, just to mention these quickly, uh, you'll be able to access the new phone link integration with Microsoft Teams free. There's also a new people experience that finds your relevant people easily on Teams and makes it possible to access and connect with contacts synced by users. And the third uh, improvement rolling out with Teams Free is there's a new Play Together widget in the Windows 11 game bar that's powered by Microsoft Teams Free, says Microsoft, that lets you see your friends' videos overlaid directly on top of your game. So a couple of interesting changes will be rolling out regarding chat becoming Microsoft Teams Free with our annual feature update version 23H2. And just something in regards to Copilot, because I think that's going to be uh, also, the key highlight um, that Microsoft um, will be working on with our feature update, version 23H2, they do say currently in the Insider program that Copilot in Windows 11 will start to release in preview to select global markets as part of our latest update to Windows 11. The initial markets for the Copilot in Windows preview include North America and parts of Asia and South America. And Microsoft says that they will add additional markets over time. So if you are not seeing Copilot with the latest Moment 4 update, and if you are not seeing it with the next annual feature update 23H2, then that's the reason why it's on a controlled rollout to specific regions at specific times. So that's more or less according to what's happening in the release preview channel that at this stage we can expect to see rollout with our annual feature update, which by the way is the only update that will change the version 
from version 22H2 to version 23H2. And um, obviously, if anything does change and more information becomes available or Microsoft um, gives us more info as to new features, then I will obviously post and keep you guys updated and in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.